Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and uh, I wanted to upload a, a video talking about um, desires and and, I, uh, and about what makes us attracted to people and how we can uh, and how we can um, reinvent ourselves to think differently and to and to perceive our reality differently and uh, not to fall in the stereotypical desires and stereotypical uh, patterns that life has kind of led us to that we think as human beings we think it's the it's like natural but I think that in a way we're kind of following uh, a structure of of uh, subconsciously embedded things from the media and society you know and um, and in some ways it is in some ways it isn't but it's but it is things that we can't control and we can suppress and we could reinvent and uh, one thing that I have a lot of trouble with is um, ever since I was young um, the balancing act of the respect of male and female respect has always been more uh, and you could uh, it's more on the female side like people have people show more admiration and more uh, sexual desire and more um, attraction toward female the female image and, uh, and and in law even in the law um, the law is more lenient toward the female than the male a lot of time but from what I've seen it's starting to change a little bit but but um, but the thing is though is that a lot of heterosexual males they suffer a lot from a, um, a conflict human men have always uh, claim to you know they always talk about you know you know we'll never find out what women are about you know women are a mystery you know uh, you know um, you could write all the books and you could ask the greatest philosophers about you know the mystery of the woman woman's mind you know like those type of things but you don't have to like the thing is though is that there is no mystery the only thing the only mystery the only problem or mystery that's going on the problem that's going on with men is that they're the ones that are ignorant they're the ones that are trying to because the thing is though is that when you know what um, you're you're feeding more fire you're feeding more wood to the fire you know it takes more work neurological work for you to become upset about something that one uh, that first was was not a problem you know you're feeding more you're 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 creating you're manifesting and creating more neurological stress for you as a male to make women a problem become a problematic issue in your life and and this is the real simple thing is that people people uh, the thing is though is that uh, why why are we desired to women why, how come we're desired we find them attractive you know and, and I think that it is kind of biological and is all these things but it's it's also um, we, we don't have to um, we can be des we, you know there's no way I think that there's no way to stop our desire for women but we should not put them on a pedestal you put them lesser lesser on a pedestal you put them at the same eye level as you as a man you know because they are at the same eye level as men they're there they're not any higher they're, they, uh, they're not any lower you know if you don't want to put them lower you can put them eye level with you at the same level as you it's just that men we we're causing more stress on ourselves neurological stress to make women more than what they actually are in the media and society in the movies and music you know that's all they show is women and women and like this guy rapping about women problems and and the, 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 the rock star and a country star complaining about losing a woman and how they you know they're the ones that are men are just ignorant you know the thing is though that there is nothing going on there you have to see women as humans as people you have to see women as another man it, not it not in terms of attraction or gay but see them as just the same damn human being plain old damn human being walking around you know see them as just a damn person you know see them as like when you go out to the mall when you go out walk, running or exercising in the street in the morning Sunday morning you know you walk into Walmart you're gonna buy some groceries you know how like when you walk around you see people you know you have to see them as just an ordinary person walking by hmm. 
You know, once you acknowledge them at the same level as you, once you see them as individuals, the thing is though is that we create more we we create our own um pitfalls and how we perceive women. We think that when we're young, we think that since we can't smell women through TV sets, that uh, their stool doesn't smell or their ass doesn't smell. You know, when I was 20 years old, I had a girlfriend and um, and uh, her ass smelled just like as bad as a man's ass. All women's, a all women's asses smell as bad as a man's ass. A, well, a girl's booty is just smells, their stool just smells just as bad as a as a pile of uh, horse shit and a pile of a uh, of, of a cat stool and a man stool, man. A girl's burp and, and, and fart smells just as bad, uh, most of the time, just as bad as a man's. It doesn't even have to be a fart. The stool in the in the sweaty ass that hasn't been washed for a day smells just as bad as a man's ass. Once you start, you see, they're here, but once you start thinking like that, they're starting to lower down, aren't they? They're falling down from the pedestal, aren't they? You you have to put you you have to exert yourself. You have to pull yourself out of that mind state of this delusional, you know, whirlwind of this kind of la di da. You know, it's like we're the ones carrying them on our shoulders, and we don't need to put them on our shoulders. You know, see them as individuals, see them as people, and 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 your desirability will then be reevaluated, reconstructed. You know, you'll find you you'll, you'll find you know, you know. You'll still be uh, attracted to them, but in a way, you'll find and snake your way through the through the forest and kind of find a woman that's just more normal and has a normal personality and like you know. But the, the but first, before you do that, you have to acknowledge women as just people. You know, their asses smell just as bad as yours. They, they fall one step lower from the pedestal. Uh, their breath smells when they don't brush their teeth. They uh they have terrible personalities. Sometimes they have hidden. Uh, uh, jealousy they're jealous of people um, um, uh, you know once you acknowledge them as just an ordinary individual like when you look at a woman's face you have to look at their faces almost you have to see them as people man as people why you have to see them as human beings as you as your brother as your sister as your mother you have to see them in the realistic standpoint where does desire come from desire comes from the the uh, the absence of being knowledge, knowledgeable, ignorance, ignorance in the mind, you know, it's like a primitive part of the brain that drives us to just be sexual, but we don't think before we move or pursue, you know, and that once you start putting that information in the frontal lobe and you start processing and thinking and stopping yourself before you make, before you make your life hard for yourself, you know, stop living in the darkness of the darkness of yourself of, of what you want to want how you you know in the darkness of your own mysticism you know the mysticism is good but but in the darkness the mysticism that causes you harm not being able to approach women why 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 would you fear having to approach women you know why would you have so much anxiety why do women have why do men have anxiety for approaching women they're just people they're just human beings god damn it you know, you can go talk to a man, you go up to a cashier in front of a Walmart, you talk to them, you ask them a question. Don't pursue them so much. You know, life is not going to end. Focus on what you got to do for your own health. Focus on yourself first. You know, this is not a damn movie that we're in. This is not some damn music video. You're not famous. You're just a human being. You have to focus on your own mental health mental and emotional health and your physical health what makes you happy when we're children we never have these kind of issues before we our joy just kind of perpetuates our our wants and needs you know don't focus so much on relationships focus on your own individual self first get yourself situated get a job you know get, get yourself a hobby find things that you like to do you already know what you 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 already you already have the answers for yourself you have the answers every individual has their own answers to the problems but they drive themselves they drive themselves crazy we all fall into that tra entrapment of self manipulation of self whirlwind ignorance of our own entrapment <clears throat> we don't need to be that way see women as people see them as individuals see them as a brother or sister 
and your desirability will lower down and maybe maybe we're not so we're, maybe men are not supposed to be so goddamn hell bent on desire pursuing women maybe when when we see women as just people there's just a normal person you have to acknowledge these things look they, they have to suffer they have to work too they may have health problems they have emotional problems you don't know what they went through you don't know who they are why would you you know you think of it kind of like this why would you pursue a disabled person that's mentally disabled you have to be, be before you go out in public or go out into the city you have to you have to give people the benefit of the doubt to give them respect to see uh, see a layer of respect amongst your own fellow human beings whether male or female you step out of your home give the benefit of the motherfucking doubt to everyone that that everyone has their own pain their own path everyone has their own way of motherfucking living everyone has their own their own struggles you know in, in a way pursuing women and pursuing them is a form of ignorance and selfishness you know you you have to you have to understand that people are people and they're human beings that's where relationships fall apart because we get into relationships before before we understand ourselves and before we understand that who we're pursuing is also a human being that's almost the same as us whether you're a male or female the, the opposite gender is the same is the same soul and spirit as you you know why would you pursue a disabled you wouldn't pursue a disabled person because you know that those people they're suffering and they're slow and they need and, the, and life is patient, people are patient, people help them, uh, th their life is different, it's slower than yours, slower paced, you know, so you give them the benefit of the doubt to just kind of like, you know, okay, go on with your day, I speak to you, my friend, you know, go on with your life, you have to see women like that, you have to give them, like, see them as an individual, almost like if you're, like, not in judgment of them, but see them as a person that you understand, you put their hand on the shoulder and you say, you know, I'm your fellow human being. Let's get through this life together. You go about your way and I go about my way. Maybe life is supposed to be about individual enlightenment. Of course it is. It's about finding self. Finding your own individual self. Pursuing and being crazy and sexual and jacking off at the damn house and buying pornography and all this other shit. No, man. We have to start changing. We have to reinvent ourselves. Understand yourself. You know? Give the benefit of the doubt. When you walk out in public, give the benefit of the doubt for everyone. You know? Don't go to the clubs for an intention. Go to the club, have a few beers, and end the night and just go back home. You know? See women as people. You know? Cut. Drop them down from the pedestal that you manifested in yourself. Drop them down so that they can be an eye level and they're equal to you. See them as people that are suffering. You don't know what they go through. You don't know what problems they have. They have their own issues. They have their own their own, uh, their own, own, uh, paths of life. They have their own history. They are human beings that smell and stink just as bad as you do. You know, uh, 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 they have their own insecurities. You have insecurities. Everybody has their own complexities. See them as people. And you'll drop them down, and you'll see them as individuals, and your desirability will disappear. And what will happen? You'll start to discover yourself and discover the meaning of what you need to do to live a better life for yourself. And then, maybe in the future, maybe life and you will work together, team up, life and yourself. You'll find enlightenment, and you'll find somebody along down the road. But don't rush it. This is Rich Cispitus, and that's all I got to say for now. Find yourself.